Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Eric Mabry. I am Assistant Professor of Philosophy and Systematic Theology at St. Mary's Seminary and University in Baltimore. And I'd like to share just a little bit with you about some of the ways in which I think uh, Father Lonergan's thought, both his philosophy and his theology, might offer uh, some ways forward uh, in today's uh, highly fraught and highly confusing situation. So I want to begin with two facets of Father Lonergan's thought, which I believe have immediate relevance to understanding the problems we face today as a society, evaluating our personal situations, and perhaps most importantly, certainly it was for Father Lonergan, deciding what to do about it. First, human progress does not happen automatically. Second, human decline can only be reversed by God's grace. Concretely, this latter principle of Lonergan's explains why God himself entered human history. To bring about the restoration of human history by reintroducing divine meaning and thereby resetting the possibility of the human species attaining the supernatural and beatific end for which we were created. The Son of God did this, however, by taking the ultimate symbol of worldly domination, death by execution, and transfigured this idol of imperium and converted it into an icon of God's love. Death no longer signifies the failure of the human race and the domination of sin, but the victory of God and the triumph of mercy, that God could bring about such an immense good from such incredible evil is what Lonergan calls the law of the cross. Evil will not remove evil. Violence will not end violence. War will not make peace. And anger will not bring love. Only the love that transforms enemies into friends can bring about the peace that consists in the twofold love of God and love of neighbor. There are a lot of things demanding, even requiring our attention right now. But there is nothing, nothing more central than listening for and to the voice of Christ, asking you to cooperate with his restoration of human history. Listen to him. Do not be distracted. Do not be dissuaded. Do not be discouraged. Listen to Christ Jesus and accept the power which he offers through his spirit. True power, true authority, as Lonergan knew very well, only comes through authenticity. But the ultimate measure of Christian authenticity is the gospel, the reign of God in our hearts. So discern what it is that Christ asks of you, and in the peace and confidence of his spirit, do it without any hesitation. So whether Christ asks you to study or to march, to speak or to listen, are each in their own time, Remember, holiness consists in experiencing in union with Christ the mysteries of his life. Your life must take a Christological form if you are to be an agent of change within this time of polarization, violence, and discord. In conclusion, Father Lonergan teaches us four things of originary value today. First, human progress does not happen automatically. Second, human decline can only be reversed by grace. Third, God himself has initiated this reversal of grace. Fourth, God himself has invited us to participate in the ongoing process of this reversal. Bob Dorn would and has <laughs> rightly added that the community constituted by this participation and cooperation in God's reversal of human history through his agency in the world is the community 
of the suffering servant. And as James Cone has argued, the oppressed are called to fight against suffering by becoming God's suffering servants in the world. Only that suffering, the suffering that is for righteousness sake, the suffering that is in defiance of injustice and oppression is truly redemptive. The Pope reminds us, true Christian hope, which seeks the eschatological kingdom, always generates history. Have a great conference.